The suicide of Japanese actor Yuko Takeuchi has once again started the conversation about the country's high suicide rates. Did you know that five prominent Japanese actors, including a 22-year-old Netflix star, have taken their lives in the last five months? At least 1,900 people killed themselves in Japan in August alone. What explains these numbers? Our next report explores. On Sunday, Japan was taken aback with the news of actor Hiyoko Takeuchi's suicide. The actor was found dead at her home. She was only 40. And that was not the first in her profession to have taken his or her life in the recent months. On the 20th of September, 80-year-old actor Takashi Fujiki was found dead in his home. The Japanese media reported that Fujiki had left a suicide note. He said he had no confidence to continue acting. Earlier this month, actor Sei Ashina died by alleged suicide. The actor was only 36. In July, actor Haruma Miura was found hanging in his home. And two months before that, Netflix star Hana Kimura was found dead. Media reports claim her apparent suicide was driven by cyberbullying. What explains these horror stories? Is this unique to the entertainment industry alone? Not really. Japan has a very high suicide rate. The country reported nearly 1,900 suicides in August. This is up 15% year on year. At least 20,169 people took their own lives in 2019. This is according to the country's national police agency. What explains these numbers? Experts say it's got a lot to do with Japan's attitude towards suicide. This Japan Today article quotes anthropologist Amiko Onuki Tierney. He says in Japan suicide is elevated to the level of an aesthetic experience. Combine this with Japan's attitude to shame, job loss and failure. There are also other factors, mental health being probably the biggest one. In recent times, internet suicide pranks have also played a big role. In 2020, the pandemic became one of the biggest suicide drivers. The government has now asked people to reach out and ask for help if they cannot cope. It's a silent pandemic that needs serious attention. Bureau Report, we own. World is one.